I'm automatically like 90% cooler than you are because I have a John Cena action figure, so your argument is invalid. What's up? It's your boy, Jax, back at it again with another YouTube video. This time, this is for beginner fursuit makers. Now, when I say beginner, I could mean like two things. I could mean someone who's made only a few suits or someone who's not very well known. I'm talking about someone who's only made a few suits and doesn't really know what's happening. The first thing, don't be afraid to redo. With Jax, he looked very different before. I can put a picture right here. I didn't really know what I was doing. I had to redo completely his muzzle and all this fur to give him new earsies, they wiggle, and back of the head, neck, see the process here, I'll put it somewhere, but that was a lot harder to do than if I would have just said when I was uh, taping him the first time, I noticed some things were off, and instead of fixing it then, which would have been easier, I said, oh, to undoing the tape would be really hard to have to redo it. No, it'll come back to bite you. He looks better now, but if I would have done it then, it would have saved me more fur, obviously, because I had to refur him. Really, it's your suit. So at the end of the day, if you go, gee, I really don't like that about my suit, do something. It's yours. You should be completely happy with it. Tip number two. Save up for better fur. Like when I first made Jax, I went to Joan Fabrics because I didn't know much. And I got three things, three types of fur. I got his muzzle fur, I got this crappy white fur for his paws, and I got a dark brown fur, not this one, for his ears. And now, as you can see, I'm using two of the three furs that I got there, using one of them reluctantly, even though I don't like this fur. I don't have any other right now. I have to buy some. So, Obviously, I redid his ears because the fur was not soft. It was extremely short because I wanted his ears first to be longer. It wasn't good. You could tell it was low quality. Like this fur, it's not the best quality and it was short as it was. But luckily for me, I wanted this fur to be shorter. Like really, it's only like this long, unshaven. Which, I mean, it's great for muzzles, but if I was gonna do with the ears, it wouldn't work. I'd recommend ordering online, but you gotta be careful. When I was ordering online, I just saw a thing. I was like, I need that color. It was supposed to be his orange. When I got it, turns out it wasn't. It's this. Luckily for me, I actually did need a dark brown, so I just used it for that. But be very careful, because sometimes the pictures don't add up. That's why you need to order a test swatch first. It could cost like an extra two-ish dollars but it'll ensure you don't buy like a whole yard of the wrong color of fur. Tip number three, shave your fursuits. I'm just making another suit right now and he's unshaven and it's so long, it gets everywhere. Even if you don't know how to shave, please try because if you leave it unshaven, it covers up all the details like teeth if you want your mouth open, it'll cover up expressions if you want your eyebrows to be larger and it just clutters everything and makes it look very untidy. Now if you're gonna shave, use an old dog shaver or a head shaver or something that you can find. Don't use scissors. Scissors are uneven. I tried that on a test piece of fur. I was like, oh, will scissors work? No, scissors don't work. It's just not a good experience. Speaking of scissors, when you're cutting out your pattern of fur, don't use scissors for that either. It'll make the fur edges uneven. It'll look choppy. Use an X-Acto knife. I didn't know that either. So some of the fur along here is uneven, but you live and you learn. I think you'd look okay. Tip number four, do your research. Now this could include looking at uh, fursuit tutorials, looking at completed bases, looking at even species like actual species, like a cat, if you're trying to do a cat fursuit head, so you know what the anatomy looks like. Look which way fur goes on an actual cat. Pull up your reference sheet so you know what you're doing. Don't wing it. That's what I did at first. Like, man, these are things that, yeah, you can just do it, 
and then learn from it, but it's much easier if you just know it. Don't do what I did. I'm, the, I'm a goof. Tip number five. I only have four fingers. Five. Personality. There's lots of different types of fursuits. There's grumpy ones, sad ones, angry ones, happy ones. You name it. So, keep this into consideration. Do you want his mouth smiley and open? Well, with lots of cheeks showing? Do you want him neutral? Do you want angry? You can do so many things. You can even do interchangeable things. Like, some people have different tongues. Some people have different eyebrows. Some people have different eyelids. I have eyelids, but they're in a drawer and I'm not getting them out. Like, there's so many different things that there are possibilities to do that you should think about beforehand or during it so it's not an afterthought. So yeah, that concludes my five tips, five tips for beginner fursuit makers. If you like this video, please show it give it a thumbs up, share it, you know, do whatever most basic YouTubers ask you to do. Subscribe, hit that bell, so you get notified because I don't upload weekly because I can only film when no one's home so I don't walk in or make noise and do stuff like that. That should about do it. See you later. Bye. I forgot what tip number five was. Okay, yeah, tip number five. Why are you still here? The video is over. Go away.